Welcome to The Backlash at Backlash.com. My name is Rod Van Mecklen, and in this video I'm going to read Part 1 from my 1992 article, Sexual Harassment, Women as Work Objects. The full article is linked below. In 1993, I expanded this article into an entire book on the subject of sexual harassment, and so this is fairly comprehensive. Let's start with a quote. Quote, masculine desire is as much an offense as it is a compliment, insofar as she feels herself responsible for her charm or feels she is exerting it of her own accord, she is much pleased with her conquests. But to the extent that her face, her figure, her flesh are facts she must bear with, she wants to hide them from this independent stranger who lusts after them, close quote. Simone de Beauvoir, The Second Sex. 1992, Bellevue, Washington, Women as Work Objects. The issue of sexual harassment gained prominence during the Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill controversy late in 1991. At that time, it became very clear to men they still need to treat female co-workers neither as women nor as equals, but as a specially protected class of sexless work objects. On television, in the newspapers and magazines, and in hundreds of Men just don't get at debates and conversations. Women have told men they don't want men using the workplace as a meat market. Yet, most women still consider work the best place to meet and mate men. Consequently, despite that men can lose their jobs for making the slightest reference to a woman's sexual identity, women focus on, think about, learn about, and plan how to use makeup, perfume, and clothing to attract the attention of their male co-workers. With impunity, women still play the dating game where, with a single complaint, they, have the, they can have the men who displease them fired for sexual harassment. Why the double standard? The most obvious answer is, most women want it both ways. They want to be wild and irresponsible, and if things get out of hand, blame men. Quote, Sometimes, charges of sexual harassment are shrouded in shades of gray. One story making the rounds occurred at an out-of-state aerospace company where a woman employee allegedly photocopied her bare breasts and then handed out copies to select co-workers in her department. One male co-worker, who had not been given a copy of the picture, later walked up to the woman and asked if he could see her breasts, not the photocopy. The woman refused and then filed a sexual harassment complaint against the man, who was later fired from the company. The woman is still employed at the firm. Connie Day, Washington CEO Magazine, October 1992. Where only women are allowed to express their sexual nature, all men are vulnerable to biased charges of sexual harassment. There is only one safe thing to do. Treat your female co-workers like work objects, not sex objects. Don't talk to them about sex, don't date them, don't check them out, and remember the eight-second rule. Look at them longer than eight seconds, and it's illegal ogling. In part two of this series, I'll cover the types of sexual harassment and the reasonable woman standard. That's all for now. Check out the other videos, subscribe to the channel. For the Backlash at Backlash.com, my name is Rod Van Mecklen.